thank you for being the keeper of my soul and the yes. lover of my soul. I thank you, praise God, for just how he died for us on the spot. Died for me. He died for me on the cross. I thank you for the keeping power. You know, I, I, um, I did show at a Sunday school, like last Sunday, I was uh, on ready to go and um, visit my daughter's aunt, who was, she was in the hospital, and she had some really complicated health issues, and, um, and, and I was ministering to her, and we were talking, and she wanted to talk or whatever, and, you know, we were just talking, and I got the call today on the way to church, and she passed away. And, you know, um, that was, that's one of the second times something like that has happened to me. So, however many years ago, the Lord had led me to go visit someone, one of my, my son's relatives that was in the hospital. And I was like, why did I go like that? I'll go later. This was, this was like on a Friday. I'll just go later. So, Sunday, the, my, the Sunday school lesson that I had to teach was doing the work of the Lord. And so, I felt so condemned doing that. You know, teaching the lesson, and the Lord had told me to do that, and I didn't do it. And so, after church, I went to baby, and I went to the hospital, and they were in a sad state of affairs. And they took the care, couldn't talk, couldn't respond to me, you know. And what I took away from that was that when God gives you something to do, it will be happy. Yes, yes. God gives you something to do, it will be happy. He's the only one who knows all the things that are right now. You know, and, and the pastor last, I think it was last Sunday, the other son talking about the challenge, but that has been burning my soul mm-hmm. ever since it was preached. He yeah. challenges us today to pull up and to do what he would have for us to do, to stretch ourselves yes. in areas that we're not familiar with, Ooh. areas that we're not comfortable with. Mm-hmm. We've got to get, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh-huh. Because we got Jesus on the other side. Mm-hmm. I love you, Jose. I appreciate you for the things that it does for me. Yeah. I appreciate you for how you watch it out for my family. I just appreciate it so very much. And I ask I thank you for Christ's
want to give honor to all the saints of God. Yes. Yes. God is worthy. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. God is so worthy. If nothing don't happen, I'll be in my house. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord again. We give honor to the Spirit of Christ. 
is in this place this morning. Amen. Don't you feel the Holy Ghost burning deep down in your soul? Amen. We honor our pastor this morning, Pastor Price. Amen. Mother Jackson, our president, to our MC, Deacon David McLean. And to all the ministers, Deacon Saints and Friends, I just wanted you to know that I know that God is still in the saving and healing business. got the Super Bowl going on, but Jesus won the championship a long time ago. And I also know, and gotta let you know, that you don't have to leave out of here the way you came. So if you came in hurry today, I know a man from Galilee. If you came in with your mind disturbed, I know a man from Galilee. If you're coming in with some money problems, I know a man from Galilee. Yeah. Amen. He is a great fixer. Yes. We don't come to church just because it's a club or we're just coming to hang out. We come in because we come to worship the creator of the universe. The one who said, let there be. And there was. If you look at that word in the Greek, in the Hebrew, in uh, Genesis, it's bara. He created. That means he took out of nothing and made everything. So if he takes out of nothing and makes everything, the thing that you have that was out of order, he can put back in the order. He just needs you to move your hands out of the way. Didn't even say all that. But he just needs you to move your hands out of the way. He used to sit us all. I tried everything else. And if we was to put that on paper, we'd have to have an Encyclopedia Britannica. I tried everything else. And everything failed. But the day I tried Jesus, the day I tried Jesus, I found that you, you just come in the house and you ain't something that's good, and you just wave your hand and say, Lord, I'm here. I don't care who else is here. I don't know what they came to do. Don't know, don't want to know. All I know is I need to touch the hem of your garment right now. I need to touch you right now so you can touch me back. If you came in here today, I'm going to move on for a minute, but, but sometimes you just got to stir up the gift. You know, you just got you to gotta stoke the fire. So if you need something from the Lord, just wave your hand and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. I need something right now. You know what it is. I can't even talk about it, but I need it right now. In yeah, Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Don't you feel better? All you got to do is reach out. The Holy Ghost is here. Yes. I don't know what you're waiting for the choir to sing or waiting for a special song, but the Holy Ghost is here. And all you got to do is just stir up the gift. Just stir it up a little bit. I know you didn't waste all that three dollars or something gas to come down here to look. Stir up the gift. I'm trying to leave that thing. I'm trying to leave it. When you look at your neighbor and say, the blood still works. 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 Just let it burn. Hallelujah. Yes. You make your time 
for you right now, Holy Ghost. We make it time for you right now. We move it out the way and let you have that thing. It's just like when you dial in when we had the end call or a service. All you gotta do is dial in. Just dial in. I'm waiting on the host or hostess, whoever comes. But until then, I'm gonna keep talking about Jesus because I know he works. He fixes everything. Cornish family, the Walton, the Cawthons, Ca- 
with Sean Smith, the Matthews family, the Seth Richard Hamilton family, the coronavirus patients. We have Mother Bertha Noble, Mother Kim, Naomi Pantry, Keith Taylor, John Washington, the Foster family, it says Sister Twin Sanders, it says also, pray for me, Sister Valerie is on here, hallelujah. And my grandbaby, hallelujah, the Lord brought her out of service. Yeah. Hallelujah, remember to pray for her. The military soldiers, and them that are on the telephone, and it says, young people everywhere, especially those of this household. Yeah. Let's remember to pray one for another. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you for that wonderful welcome. Yes. And at this time, we're going to call our deacons for this name. Worship the Lord in giving. Praise God. And as you say, to your feet. And you honor God. Everybody on the
Bless the Lord. Please come out and hear words of the Lord. She's an awesome teacher. Yes, so if you haven't heard, right, I mean, Wednesday night is the night. Yes. And service starts at 7 p.m. Choir rehearsal on the 15th is Thursday at 6 o'clock. Please be here on time to practice and everyone can go home at the same time. The 16th was Friday, 7 o'clock is prayer, and they'll have a, an administrative meeting. And 8 o'clock is Bible class and Easter rehearsal. So if you plan to participate or have your children or grandchildren participate, they need to be here Friday night at 8 o'clock for the upstairs with the HYP for the Easter rehearsal. On the 18th, there'll be a baptizing after the morning service. Sunday morning, there'll be a baptizing after the morning service. And then at 6 p.m. that night, the choir is in charge of the service. February 20th is a deadline for your room reservation for the assembly. Please don't forget your food money, which is due March 1st, if the sun is upon us already. March 1st is approaching. So February 20th is the deadline for your room reservation. There's a flyer in the hallway if you need all the particulars about the food money and the hotel. On February 25th, the men's department service, Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Next Sunday, our worship will be MC. Minister Elder Charles Shockley, devotional, Sister Sandra Cornis, prayer, Sister Erica Price, scripture, Sister Ariana Reese, and the three will be Sister Samantha Taylor. Easter program rehearsal this year will include speeches, songs, and a skit. The first rehearsal will begin February 16th. Thereafter, the rehearsal will be on Friday and Saturday. Pastor needs three more volunteers to form a committee to coordinate for the 100th anniversary celebration of Girls Temple. Sister Doris and Sister Sandy have already volunteered. Please be passed. Sunday school books for next quarter have already been passed out. So if you need one, you, you can talk to them, but they've already passed out the Sunday school books. Please don't forget the Women's Day offering, $20 per month until September. Men's Day offering, $31 per month. Please check the bulletin board, the bulletin board to verify how you want your name printed for submission on the National Men and Women's Day program. Please make your reservation for the General Assembly. I repeat, please make your reservation for your General Assembly at Houston Woods Lodge, which will take place March 21st through 24th. The room's $149 per night with tax and fees $173.21. And when you make your reservation, they will take out one night. And the code is C-O-G-M-P-G-T. Deadline is February 20th. February 20th is the deadline for your reservation for Houston Woods uh, March Assembly. And the assembly programs are out. Um, if you didn't receive a green program, it tells you what our assessments are, are for. For the missionaries, uh, Mr. Waldron is collecting a dollar. For the mother's boards, Christine Smith is collecting one dollar. And the ministers, they know who they're supposed to report to. But your program tells you the assessments and also the services, the preachers, and things like that. So if you don't have a green program, which is an assembly program, to give you all the information that I'm reading and I'm hard to understand, you can reflect back to it in black and white. And also, the information is in the hallway for the reservation. There are flyers out there. And all auxiliaries, your finance report is in your mailbox. So all auxiliaries, secretary, presidents, whomever, your finance report is in your mailbox. All our announcements are important to us. Please, if you need clarity, you can call myself or the pastor, the story right now. She's not here, but we know that she's always on time. She has all the information that we need. We're giving her time to rest and reflect. So if you need to ask any questions, if you can't see it in black and white, you can call myself or the pastor. Thank you.
all God's blessed people that are in the house today, I say, yeah. do you have it? Amen. Do you have it? Amen. I need mean the old time. You got the old time to live. Framed 
by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. God said, let there be light. There was no light. There was nothing but darkness. But when he said, let there be light, guess what? Light. Light showed up. Faith will get us to the place where we need to be to practice. We got to practice, y'all. Hebrews 11, 6 and 7. But without faith, I believe Sister Valerie already said this, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that come up to God, first you got to come. You got to come to God. You got to repent of your sins. Yes. You gotta be baptized. Yes. You gotta receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. And then you gotta practice. practice. You got to practice. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. Amen. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes. Somebody once told me everything you do, everything you say. He's going to be the man. Right uh, come on now. Under your name. That's it. Your name. All right. You do it, huh? Under your name. He's writing it down. Yes. We have a mission to fulfill. We've been given enough to fulfill it. We have the faith. Now we need to start adding to our faith. The scripture tells us to add virtue first. That's moral excellence. Moral excellence. It means I can be a liar mm -hmm. and call myself saved. Mm -hmm. I can't be. But if I find myself Come on. saying things that's not true, I need to practice. Say it. Putting it in order so I say it the right way. Right. Luke 19, 8 through 9 says, And Zacchaeus stood. And said unto the Lord, Zacchaeus was a, I believe he was a tax collector, and he wanted to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. He heard about him, but because he was little stature, uh -huh. he knew that he couldn't see Jesus over the top of people. Uh -huh. So he said, I know what I'll do. I'll climb up a tree. I'll climb up a tree so I can see Jesus. And when he climbed the tree, the Lord came in. I know where you are. You think you had it. You think you got it. You think you got it. He knows where each one of us is. Yes. Yes. When Zacchaeus climbed the tree, the Lord told him, come down. I want to have supper at your house. And when he came down, Zacchaeus said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. Mm -hmm. And if I take anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. In other words, Zacchaeus wanted to have virtue. He wanted to have moral excellence. Oh, I know I'm taking things, but, but Lord, because I know you're coming, and I know what you teach, and I know what you preach, Lord, I'm going to give it back to whoever I took it from, for a vote. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Come on, Lord. I'm going to practice. <laughs> Philippians 4 and 8, finally, brother, what sort of things are true? What sort of things are honest? What sort of things are just? What sort of things are pure? What sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are of good report? If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Then we're going to go to, if you're going to get virtue, then you've got to add, to virtue you've got to add knowledge. You've got to know what pleases the Lord. There are certain things that really please the Lord. Now if I go to, in this church night and I go to the door and I stick my finger out and I say, mm, not today. God ain't pleased. 
guiding, please. All right. Because just like you go to work. Okay. You go to work on time. Uh -huh. You don't show up late. Go ahead. You don't come in any old kind of way. No, you don't. Uh -huh. When you go to work, come on now. I think you either go to work on time or you go to work to work. Right. You don't walk through the door with him. No. Go on, girl. Hey, how y'all doing? Go on, no.
has emotional restraint uh -huh. or self-control. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Folly is someone who does not respect God. Boy. Who does not respect God. Do you know Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were taken captive? They were taken captive. It says Daniel was a good example of a person with temperance. He was taken captive by King Nebuchadnezzar. And when he took them captive, he said, I want y'all to eat what my people did. I want you to eat like we eat. But Daniel said, uh huh. I know I'm in captivity. I know I'm stuck here and I can't get out. But while I'm in here, I'm going to eat what God told me to eat. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you to trust me. If I eat my stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you in a few days I'm going to look just as good. All right. Just as good yes. as the one that's eating what you get. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened just like he said, yeah, come on. Daniel and the boys showed temperance. Yes. And they did what God yes. told them to do. Amen. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit mm -hmm. is love, joy, peace, mm -hmm. long-suffering, gentleness, yes. goodness, mm -hmm. faith, meekness, temperance. Mm -hmm. Against such, did you hear what I said? Against such, there is no law. Then he said, add patience. We got virtue, we got knowledge, we got temperance. Now we've got to add patience. We've got to be patient. patient. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Romans 8, 25. This scripture on patience is both an admonition and a promise wrapped into one. Did you hear what I said? Admonition? Meaning you better watch it. Come on. You better watch it. Yeah. If you don't wait, you've got to wait patiently Patient. on the Lord. Yeah. The scripture says, he that wait on the Lord shall be like an eagle. Yeah. We've got to wait, y'all. Yes. He took my mind over to Anna and Simeon. Anna and Simeon uh -huh. were old. Yes. They were old when they went to the temple every day. Uh -huh. They went to the temple because the Lord talked to them. Yes. And he told them, if you stay here in the temple, you will see the salvation of Israel. If you wait here in the temple, I believe that Joseph and Mary brought Jesus to the temple. And Simeon, when he saw the child, then you know those other children that brought to that temple. Yeah. What? What he knew? He knew when he saw the Christ child. He said, Lord, now I can depart in peace because I have seen your salvation. And when Anna came in, she said the same thing. You have let me see. Your salvation, but if they had us said out today, ah, mm. it's raining outside. Wow. It's kind of cold. Mm -hmm. I've been there yesterday. I was there the day before there, and nothing happened. But they with patience. Yeah. Went every day to the temple. Yeah. Because God told me yeah. I get to see something. Yeah. If I'm in my place, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, I get to see. And they had patience. And they waited. And they saw just what God had prepared for them to see. Now we're going to add godliness. 2 Timothy 6, 6 through 8. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world. And it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us therewith 
Be content. We brought nothing in. That paycheck you got, you didn't bring that in. I got news for you. You think you worked for it. God told him to get here that paycheck. God told him to provide it because Bishop had a job where he worked all week. Come on. He happened to stay late. The devil tap came across. And he said, as of the in business today, this company will cease from operation. The people had their checks, but they didn't know. There wasn't going to be no company. But because the Lord let him see that, he went straight to the bank. <laughs> and his check got cashed in time. It don't matter you got a check. Come on. It ain't nothing to pack it. You just got some paper. Yeah. God's got to say. Yeah. God's got to say. Let him back that money. And he said, when I give you the money, I want 10 cents out of every dollar. Mm-hmm. 
Charity in it not. Charity bought it from itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave itself. Unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Seeketh no evil. Rejoices not in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. Beareth all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things. It says, charity never fails. Never fails. We have to add all of these attributes to our faith. We say I'm a Christian, then we got to add all of these attributes. Now, I'm a loner. I didn't realize how much I liked you to know, but anyway. I'm a loner. But I'm asking God to help me. See, we have to add something to our faith. We have to grow and be ready when Jesus comes. If he didn't want us to add it, y'all, he wouldn't have wrote it. He wouldn't have wrote it. And he wouldn't have given us examples of how to add to our faith. The world is looking for a Bible. And some of us are being ready. Every day. Every day. They know what time you're supposed to be at church. Go on. Go on. Come on. Go on. They know what you're supposed to wear. Yeah. You don't think they know. They know. They know. Yes, they know. They know. Come on. Uh, they know. Yeah. That you say you saved, sanctified, give up. Give up. But they have this whole ghost. Yeah. They, they, they hear what you say. But they also watch you. Watch what we do. We have to practice. We have to practice any God's principles to our life. Daily. And you know what? Sometimes you say, There's a lot. That's a whole lot of stuff. But practice these. I do a little bit. Okay, Lord. I know I'm always late. Okay. I know what time service comes. Okay. Okay, Lord. Uh-huh. I'm gonna work on that. Okay. I'm gonna work on that one thing. Yes. And then when I get that down pat, say it. I'm gonna work on this one. Say it. Because I'm gonna add what you told me to add. Yeah. I'm gonna do it the way you told me to do it. Yeah. Because when I stand before you, I don't want you to say. Depart from me. I never. Did you, did you hear the scripture on charity? I speak with the tongues of men and angels. But if I don't have everything you told me to have, I can't go in. I can't go in. I've got to add to my faith each attribute that he told me to add. And guess what, y'all? It ain't on me, y'all. Go on. The word goes to the preacher first. I've got to do it the way God said to do it, and I've got to practice. I've got to practice what I preach. We've got to practice. Practice what we preach. I can't preach one thing. And he said, practice. 
Yes, Lord. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, today. Today, Lord. I'm talking for you. Today. I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice, Lord. I'm going to make sure I do what you want me to do. The way you want me to do it, I pray for everybody here. Lord, let your word go forth. You said it would. You said it would. And I'm waiting on your promise. You said it will accomplish what you sent it for. Father God, help us all, Lord. Put it into practice. This is a practical salvation. You laid down the rules. Father God, for us to follow in our heart, you said my yoke is easy. And my burdens are light. You didn't give us anything too heavy for us to carry. Father God, touch us all today. Keep us today, Lord. Watch over us today over the highways and highways. You know all about each and every one of us, Lord God. And Lord, like Brother Sharpie said, help me to stir.